This is the plan to defeat the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria. In other words, ISIS. I think it's going to be very successful. In the first month of President Trump's reign, he signed an executive order for his plan to defeat ISIS. The first step is to implement programs to stop the entry of people from ISIS strongholds into the U.S. We need strong programs so that people that love us and want to love our country and will end up loving our country are allowed in, not people that want to destroy us and destroy our country. Once this program for strong borders is sorted, the U.S. will go into the Middle East and destroy ISIS easily. We're up against an enemy that celebrates death and totally worships destruction. You've seen that. ISIS is on a campaign of genocide, committing atrocities across the world. Radical Islamic terrorists are determined to strike our homeland, as they did on 9-11, as they did from Boston to Orlando, to San Bernardino, and all across Europe. You've seen what happened in Paris and Nice. All over Europe, it's happening. So today, we deliver a message in one very unified voice to these forces of death and destruction. America and its allies will defeat you. Now, Donald Trump has many good qualities which are beneficial for both the U.S. and the free world, but he still has many flaws which we need to be mindful of. In the President's own words, this is what he said he will do to ISIS. Please excuse the language. I said, don't go into Iraq. I was right. I said, now we got to go and we got to knock the shit out of these people. We've got to do it. We've got to do it. We're going to do great things. We're going to do great things. We've been fighting these wars for longer than any wars we've ever fought. We have not used the real abilities that we have. We've been restrained. We have to get rid of ISIS. We have to get rid of ISIS. We have no choice. Radical Islamic terrorism. And I said it yesterday, it has to be eradicated just off the face of the earth. This is evil. This is evil. While ISIS needs to be destroyed and the Middle East sorted, Donald Trump will make one huge move that will lead to World War III with Islam. It's like we haven't won anything. We don't win anymore. The old expression, to the victor belong the spoils. You remember I always used to say, keep the oil. I wasn't a fan of Iraq. I didn't want to go into Iraq. But I will tell you, when we were in, we got out wrong. And I always said, in addition to that, keep the oil. Now, I said it for economic reasons. But if you think about it, Mike, if we kept the oil, you probably wouldn't have ISIS, because that's where they made their money in the first place. So we should have kept the oil. But OK. <laughs> Maybe you'll have another chance. But the fact is, we should have kept the oil. The Bible states in Daniel 11 that at the time of the end, a final war will take place, started by the king of the north, who, unlike his predecessors, prunders the goods which can be interpreted as the oil of the south kingdom. The Islamic kingdom of the south will rise up against the U.S. coalition of the north to get their oil back, and mass destruction will take place. These Islamic countries will be shattered, and only the country of Jordan will be spared. This will be the sixth trumpet war of Revelation, which is unleashed from the river Euphrates, where a third of the world's population is destroyed. As a clear sign to those who will be living in these end times, Daniel 11 makes it clear that this last ruler of the north who plunders the Islamic goods will be known as a vile man, not given royal honour. This sounds like a fair description of what we have seen with Donald Trump's rhetoric and with many Americans disowning him.
You see, Trump is backed by a powerful group of patriotic Americans and powerful Zionists who have risen up to defeat the global elites who have been taking control of the world and shattering the freedom of Western democratic societies. Thank God Trump won, but the world is still heading for a disaster which will allow the global elites to take control and run a world government. After World War III, events centered around Israel will set in place the last three and a half years of desolation which Jesus warned would be the last days before his second coming. Subscribe now and see my other videos for more details. It's time to get right with Jesus. Striking nervous. The whole world is watching. The course of human history has changed today. This is not a test. This is an emergency broadcast transmission. We're going to stay on the air for as long as possible. We're seeing heavily armed forces being deployed. Every man make himself and his country proud. Three, two, one, drop.